tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. If she ain't foreign, then she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So we are here today on Forza Horizon 3 right now to try something I've been meaning to want to try for a while. We are staring down my street-tuned S13, getting passed by a couple of uh, race cars. So the reason I am back on Horizon 3 right now is because I wanted to try and see if you copy down the tunes. These guys are going to wreck me. From Forza Horizon 3, like suspension settings and such. Will it drift as good in Forza Motorsport 7 as it does in Horizon 3? Now this S13 is definitely one of my favorite cars. Forgot the second gear car. One of my favorite cars to slide. I, if you've been part of the channel for a while, you know S13 is probably my favorite S chassis of all. We're just ripping here in Byron Bay. Here we go with the curb check. But if you did follow the live stream, when I did the live stream here on Forza Horizon 3, I was using this S13 and this thing was getting doors with all other people. It is up on the marketplace if you guys want to try this tune. But I'm curious to see if we were to copy... Ah, uh, that mini scared me. If we were to copy the tunes over to Forza 7 and build an identical car, would it drift as good as it does here? I don't think it will. But we're definitely going to try and find out for sure because I do love this S13. Ripping it! Just tap. Ripping it here in Byron Bay and a little free world drifting. So we're definitely going to try and duplicate this car in Forza 7 and see if it slides just as good or if, you know, Forza physics are totally different, which I have a feeling it's going to be. I don't feel like it's going to drift as good as it is here in Forza Horizon 3. Excuse me, I have a hiccup. As it is in Forza Horizon 3. But we're definitely going to try it. Here we go. I'm going to run this little street section real quick. I mean, if I could get a car to handle like this in Forza 7, I would definitely be extremely happy especially if it is an S chassis like this S13 so we're gonna hop into the settings here write them down real quick and then we will uh, hop over into Forza 7 and see if we can make an identical version of this car in Forza 7 and get sideways and see what we can do this is a stock turbo motor fully built running about 580 some horsepower this has sleepers on it though so I don't know if that's gonna affect me in Forza 7 or not so let's uh just pull in this man's uh, front yard here let's take a look at these settings that I have on here who's online who's 45 is online all right so let's take a look at this tune I know for a fact it's fully tuned it does not have Full rate reduction, so tires are as stock. Gearing, final drive is going to be 351. And alignment, we're running 3 degrees of camber, 1 degree of camber. I'm writing all this down 1.5, end point 0.5, and then 6.5. Actually, that's surprisingly different than what I thought it was going to be. And then any roll bars, we're running. 32.44, 19.31. I should probably make sure I can read my own writing. That is a very soft car. I think it's because it has on rally suspension in this game. So we're going to try and mimic the softness of this car in Forza 7. As close as we can, 4.5, 4.5. That thing is dumped on the ground. Dampening, 4.9, 4.5. 2.2, 2.0. Aero we don't have. Brakes. I think we kept the stock brakes or didn't adjust the brakes. And diff is 100%. So, with that being said, let's uh, dashboard this real quick and hop into Forza 7. Real quick dashboard switch. Little flip flop into Forza 7. We're going to buy a new 
S13 because I do have an S13 in the game, but I have it set kind of how I want it, but we're going to buy another one. It's not that expensive. So as soon as this game gets loaded up and we uh, start building the car, I will be back with you guys. All right, so we're here back in Forza. We got our S chassis right here, our Nissan Sylvia S13. We're going to buy that. Buy it with stock parts fitted because we're going to fit our own parts on this. We got our little notepad here with our settings lined up. So we're going to uh, see if we can mimic that suspension setting as best we can. I'm not sure how it's going to work because of rally suspension in Forza Horizon 3, but we're definitely going to try. So first things first, uh, we kept the drivetrain, we kept the engine. I'm going to go full wide body because the S13 and Forza did have a full wide body. And then of course we have to throw on the rocket bunny wing. I think we were running a stock, yeah we were running a stock hood, we weren't running a carbon hood. I actually forgot to check that. We were running stock tires, I know that for a fact. I did not check tire width, so we're gonna probably have a little bit of a tire width difference. I forgot to check tire width. And I don't think we have the 1552s in here. Oh, yes, we did. There they are. All right, 1552s. And then we're going to bump these up to 17s because that is what I was running on the other car. All right, so we got our 17s on. We're going to start continuing to upgrade this. Full clutch, full transmission. We're going to have to go back and check the tire width because I believe I remember what the tire widths were. So I think I was running a very mild tire width set. Let's see, what do we got for tire width? What are we running? I think we were running 235, 225s in the front. And we'll probably run some 235s in the rear. Oh no, 245s in the rear. Okay. Or were we running 225s all around? We'll try it with 225s all the way around to start. Uh, if we have to go back and check, we will. All right, 225s all the way around, stock tires. We already did all of that. So now we go into brakes. We did have full braking in there. Full suspension, my phone is going off. Got the team chat blowing up on my phone. Need that real quick. Brake suspension, now we did have full sways on it in Horizon 3, so we're gonna run the full sway bars here and see how it works. We did have a full cage. We were only running stage one weight reduction on that car. And now for the goodness. I, we were completely maxed out in power with the stock motor on this S13. So, I'm gonna cram as much power as we can into this little motor and uh, see how she goes. Gonna have to modify the settings to make sure we uh, get it as close to possible. Hopefully, we can get that softness that it has in Forza Horizon 3 and Forza 7. It would be nice to see if we can. There we go. I feel like this is a lot more power than it was in the other game. Hmm. This car does have a lot more power. What didn't I do? I believe I did everything. So we were only at about 584 horse. Okay, so we'll do a stage one turbo instead of a stage two because that's probably what I did because I think I wanted to keep it under 600. All right, so now we're gonna tune it. That was the same. Our gearing was 351. So we're gonna put this to 351. Our alignment was at three and one and then we were looking at three and one we were looking at 1.5 and 0.5 and 6.5 for that now the any roll bars yeah definitely way too wait what apparently i had these set to 32 44 32 46 and then 
Damn. So the tunes are very different. Now let's see if we can even get this down to 181. I don't think we can. Yeah, we can. All right, so for suspension, we were running 181.9, 181.8, close enough, and then 180.3. Wow, this is a very soft car. No wonder it uh, has uh, a good weight transfer. Okay, and then we had this thing dumped. Apparently the car can go a lot lower in Forza Motorsport 7 than it can in Horizon. Wow, all right. So we're just gonna dump this thing completely. Dampening, what were we looking at? 4.9 and 4.5. 4.9, 4 4.5, and then 2.2 and Jeez, this is a really soft car. I never realized how soft uh, rally suspension in that game makes it. 2.2 and 2. Uh, downforce we didn't have. Brakes were just going to change a little bit. And then the diff we were fully locked. So that is as close to my Horizon tune as we can get. So uh, I think it's time we send it and see... Uh, how this car handles i'm not sure how this is gonna work this is definitely a uh a new trial for me we're gonna change up the track a little bit get something a little different the cello circuit prague road atlanta road america would be fun silverstone you know what we haven't been to suzuka in a while so Let's go to Suzuka Short and uh, give this car a whirl here at Suzuka Short. Mimicking the tune as close as we can to Forza Horizon 3. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Got to get our Logitech G920 hooked up and set up with our Energy Innovations 350mm wheel. And uh, yeah. Horizon 3 tune in Forza 7. Will it work? I have no idea. <laughs> We're definitely about to find out. Um, I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous on this. So uh, here we go. First try here. Forza Motorsport 7 with a almost exact tune in Horizon 3. Um, acceleration seems about the same. Let's see what happens when we send it. Oh boy. <laughs> um, definitely a little bit different, but uh, not too bad. I mean, I guess. That's actually not bad. Uh, I think the sway bars are getting me because I'm used to drifting without sways, but. This really isn't that bad. So, is the Forza Horizon 3 tune cl uh, close to Forza 7? Uh, I don't know. You you tell me. I would say so. This is actually very surprising that this thing is sliding as smooth as it is. But that I should have transitioned a lot quicker. Um, I think I have a new way of tuning cars. Those cars that I worked many hours on in Horizon 3. I may just uh, copy them and transfer them over to here and uh, maybe be able to get some of my really fun door cars in Forza Motorsport 7 because this tune is pretty close. Of course, it does feel a lot different because it is Motorsport 7, but it feels good. I know my drifting isn't showing that right now, but we're gonna see if we can't have better run this lap. I always enter this way too fast. There we go. I mean, it feels good. The wheel response of it is quite nice, actually. Um, yes, I think. I think I'm going to have some fun with this S13 now. 
It's nice to be back in an S chassis. I know my Alfa Romeo tune is nice, but this this car floats just like the Alfa tune. I need to work on that transitional snapback, though. I think I'm uh, on throttle too much through that. I think this tune may need some little fine adjustment tweaks, but uh, otherwise, it's not bad. I think we may have to go to a maybe a grippier tire since I'm most part seven. I think. The grip levels are so different. But this is definitely feels good. Let's see if we can't actually nail this first turn now. That's better. Stay on throttle. There we go. Forza Horizon 3 S13 tune on Forza Motorsport 7. Does it work? Oh yeah, it works. Like I said, we may have to change the grip a little bit, but it's definitely there. The basic tune is there, so this tune is actually pretty sweet. It's very floaty. It very, uh, very well comes out on you when you need it to. Uh, yep. So I just need to be off throttle more. I'm way too much on throttle during that transition. So this is uh, definitely pretty sweet. So I think we should probably take this car into an online session before we end this episode off. So I will see you guys when I hit an online session. And we're going to take this S13 for a rip. See how we do in a pack. Burmese Alps. Let's do this. Ooh, I see that Y by E92 over there. Doesn't look like we are gonna get too caught up with other cars. Yeah, we will. Oh man, that guy probably was real pissed off at me. Okay. Hi, thanks, sweet. I hope I'm not still on full damage. That would suck. All right, so the crash is out of the way, and apparently this car likes it's it's whipping a lot harder than it was when I was practicing. So I don't know if it's something about the lobby or maybe it's just me right now. Uh, it doesn't want to get sideways right now. There we go. Having a, I don't know. When it comes to online lobbies, I like lose my ability to drift I don't know what it is it's maybe it's a mental game and I'm just not doing so hot when it comes to online lobbies but otherwise when I'm by myself or with the team I'm pretty dang good but when it comes to an online lobby I like lose my ability to drift and I don't know why of course maybe it's also the car that guy scared the crap out of me could also be the car, you know, not being fully set up, but we're getting a little better now. Don't come up, don't come up, thank you. All right, now we're we're getting back into the swing of it here. I'm Burmese Alps, swing of it, huh? Oh boy, that was not a very funny joke at all. You just broke my tail light though. Don't want to go too high because you lose all your points when you go up there. I'm trying to bank as many points as I can trying to uh, stay up in the leaderboard at least some that's not gonna help oh no we died so I think that might do it here for this episode definitely a little bit of tweaking but the tune is close I think it's me and getting a little psyched out in an online session I don't know why a curse of mine I get a little bit psyched out when it comes to drifting on online sessions so if it's with people I don't know I think I'm more focused on possibly losing my points than I am actually just running my lines and drifting like right now not really focusing talking and just having fun sliding I think that's mainly what I really need to do and focus on more is just having fun and sliding on these online sessions not worry too much about points and the points will come so 
You guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. Like, thank you guys for watching. Just a tap. So until next time, guys, I think I'm going to finish this lobby out a little bit. But until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out. Shawty.